The Amtrak bridge over the Susquehanna River in northeastern Maryland behind me is a critical link for both passenger and freight trains on the busy northeast corridor. Built more than a century ago, the bridge has become a choke point for the more than 100 Amtrak, Mark commuter, and freight trains that cross it every day. Here the three-track railroad narrows to just two tracks. The bridge's antiquated design also means that trains must slow from 125 mile an hour to 90 mile an hour while crossing the bridge. In addition, the bridge's central span is opened a dozen times a year for river traffic. Because the bridge does not have modern automated machinery, we bring out roughly uh, 30 people to open the bridge. Every person has their own task. When we have to do any significant maintenance on the bridge, and we have to take one of those two tracks out of service, then traffic backs up for both Amtrak, Mark Commuter, and Norfolk Southern, because we're then we're single tracking the Northeast Corridor. But a lot of people don't realize that in addition to the passenger trains that use the Northeast Corridor, such as Amtrak and the commuter trains, that there are a number of freight railroads that also access and rely on the Northeast Corridor for their operations. Amtrak's Northeast Corridor is a vital link for Norfolk Southern as it serves its customers in Maryland and Delaware. Norfolk Southern connects to Amtrak's Northeast Corridor at Perryville, Maryland uh, via what we call our Port Road. From Perryville, we get onto the Northeast Corridor and run south over the Susquehanna River Bridge. And Norfolk Southern handles a wide variety of products. We're bringing farm machinery in that uh, actually was constructed in the Midwest and are, is coming through the Port of Baltimore to be exported to Eastern Europe. The Port of Baltimore is responsible for 13,000 direct jobs. In addition to that, there's 130,000 jobs within Maryland that are linked to the Port of Baltimore. On any given day, Norfolk Southern is operating somewhere between eight and 10 freight trains a day over the Susquehanna River Bridge. If the Susquehanna River Bridge was disabled for an extended period of time, you would see an immediate uh, effect on the national economy. There would be a lot of delays in the delivery of all that material. So the Susquehanna River Bridge is just an absolutely vital part of the Northeast Corridor and anything that can be done to modernize it is a good thing. Amtrak and its partners, the Federal Railroad Administration and the Maryland Department of Transportation have a plan to relieve this major choke point and modernize this river crossing. They envision two new fixed high-level bridges with a total of four tracks to improve trip time and safety and allow for more trains in the future. About $1.7 billion is needed to build the soaring structures, and Amtrak is working with federal and state partners to secure funding and advanced design and construction. Together, they are ready to build the infrastructure of the future and provide this region with effective freight and passenger transportation.